Hi, I am discussing Wicca. I thought I would share what uh, was one of the main things that brought me to Wicca. And I came upon this when I was first going through a spiritual shift and I was seeking out what was truly right for me. And in my search, I came across online um, something written by Scott Cunningham and it's called Before Time Was. And it's basically like a creation story or a myth or, um, I guess you could say poem, um, but I would like to share that with you all now. And I think this can be found in his book, Wicca, um, a Guide for the Solitary Practitioner, I think is what it's called, um, but Before Time Was. Before Time Was, there was the one. The one was all, and all was the one. And the vast expanse, known as the universe, was the one. All wise, all pervading, all powerful, eternally changing. And space moved. The one molded gas into a twin forms, equal but opposite, fashioning the goddess and god. The goddess and god stretched and gave thanks to the one, but darkness summoned them. They were alone, solitary safe for the one. So they formed energy into gases, into suns, and planets and moons. They sprinkled the universe with whirling globes, and so all was given shape by the hands of the goddess and god. Light arose, and the sky was illuminated by a billion suns. And the goddess and god, satisfied by their work, rejoiced and loved and were one. From their union sprang the seeds of all life and of the human race so that we might achieve incarnation upon the earth. The goddess chose the moon as her symbol, the god the sun as his symbol, to remind the inhabitants of earth of their fashions. All are born, live, die, and are reborn beneath the sun and the moon. All things come to pass there under, and all occurs with the blessing of the one, and as has been the way of existence before time was. Um, I just wanted to share that with you. I'm not going to give any great insight into it. Um, I just wanted to share that and then and whoever wants to ponder it, ponder it. Um, leave comments below about your impressions or your thoughts on it or your likes or dislikes about it. Um, so that's it. Thank you for watching and bless me.